All right, here we go. Let's check this out. This was meant to be kind of a quick video, but I got off on a uh, tangent here trying to fix the Osmo Network box uh, scripts, specifically on Dragon OS Focal X. I explained in the past when you try to use a UHD based device with the Osmo Network and the box scripts, the service I don't really know how to explain it. Takes a while to start up, fails. I know if I put a little more time in, I could get it fixed. And then the script ends up checking for errors, sees that it's not running, and everything shuts down. So um, I, I was just trying to clean that up, but you know what? I'm just going to show how to run it. Two separate um, commands are going to be needed, but what we're going to try and see here is. Uh, if this Libra SDR, which is essentially a, appears to be a B210 like device, it actually uses the UHD that is in DragonOS Focal X. There is a file that comes specific uh, with this device to load. I'll, I'll explain what I mean. It, it's like the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the FPGA file, the bin file that's loaded. You can either manually load it or you can back up um, a file that is in Dragon OS and then replace this modified file with that and then everything will work um, just fine with the Libra SDR. Now if you plug in a B210 it's going to be a different story. So I have, uh, this was just a picture to show what I've got uh, sitting over here and of course I have an environment that is shielded and this is my phone that you're seeing over uh, SCR CPY program here I'm using ADB in um, Android it's an old phone it's got a SIM card in it and uh, we're gonna see if we can connect to the GSM network that is gonna hopefully be created by this Libra SDR and we'll have a little bit of fun here but again this is my phone closed network uh, anything that's over the air you have to make sure that you uh, have the setup necessary to contain that signal this is just for um, experiment experimental purposes or experimentation I guess you'd say so let me close that out we have the phone here and make sure it doesn't go to sleep you see it's in airplane mode and uh, so let's just say that you got this Libra SDR out of the box, you plugged it in. Uh, you're safe doing a UHD find devices, which will, um, it'll initially load a, a hex file, I think it is, and then you'll see the information that you see on the screen here. But the key is we need to load a, uh, and I, I've wrote some steps down here. Uh, actually, I have it open somewhere. And so, hopefully you can see what I'm typing here. I'll blow it up a little bit. In the user uh, local share UHD images directory in Dragon OS, there is the stock USRP B210 FPGA.bin. I am just making a backup of that. <clears throat> I'm just copying it and giving it a label, uh, you know, ending in dot backup. So I just have that in case I need to put that back because where that file comes into play is when you start trying to use the USRP, the B210, that you know, whatever, that file is automatically loaded uh, and you'll see it, uh, you know, often uh, that it's loading. It takes a little while to load that first time. So I'm just making a backup of that. And then what I am going to do is, uh, you know, along with the Libra SDR, um, there is a, a bin file that was provided. I'll probably try and link to that or see, can I just put the, you know, and, and there is a couple companies out there that list the Libra SDR and put links to some weird drive, Google-like drive thing that gives the, the source code and everything else. Probably should just consolidate that on uh, GitHub. But anyways, I'm using that bin file and I am just doing a sudo copy of that Libra SDR bin over the user local share UHD images stock USRP B210 FPA dot, dot, dot bin. Okay, and I've already done that. You can, however, for some use cases here, um, if you didn't want to do that, 
Of course, it kind of gets messed up with the use of Soapy because it reloads anyways. You can use UHD Image Loader and specifically load that bin file for uh, like a one-time use in the, um, the Libra SDR. And GQRX and GROSMOCOM and most things seem fine. You know, they just start up. Uh, Soapy, though, on the other hand, seems to like always want to like reload that which if you've not done the previous steps of copying over you end up loading the wrong the, the stock USRP B210 bin file and then the Libre SDR is not going to work so hope that makes sense I've already did the replacement of the file backed it up so I can you know and I'm knowing in the back of my head I need to flip back for when I want to use my B210 okay so we have that loaded and uh, like I said UHD uh, find devices um, my Libre SDR is there now uh, you may remember I've shown in previous videos where I split it out you can uh, use this main LMS uh, PY and the user source Osmo network in the box scripts with a Lime SDR and then I just made this uh, main UHD separate I was screwing around like I said trying to consolidate all back down into main but I just uh, I'm just gonna move on and so what we're gonna do is is look at this UHD which if you're not paying attention it's it's only gonna start some of the services there's one thing that we're gonna have to start manually which ties it all together and it takes about 35 40 seconds to start but I'm gonna look at the help file here and I'm going to make this uh, let's see enable automatic uh, interaction with all users I want to do that I'm going to do, let's see, enable SIP support. One thing I am going to do though, let's look at the, this is where I was saying about having fun here. I'm going to, if you remember, I'm going to enable the call to true, which I showed how to modify what voice file is played. It's just this um, typical asterisk tt dash monkeys thing that's going to blast into the uh, phone here when I answer it so it's just demonstrating an automatic call so let me see I'm doing this from memory too it's been a little while I want to make it uh, let's see interactive do the dash D UHD and we'll do a dash dash sip all right let's see fingers crossed that's gonna start everything up almost everything now for UHD we're gonna open up another window and we are going to let me see let's see that's my ADB command well let me see uh, sudo osmo let's see TRX UHD we're gonna do a dash C capital C uh, let's see Osmocom, Osmo, TRX, UHD. That should be it. Let's see. Minimize this. And see, so what you should get is something like what you're seeing here. And you got to give it 30, 45 seconds or so until it um, starts up. I'm expecting, yeah, a little more output there. Okay. Now, let's see what we get here. And I really don't quite care about the uh, the MZ on this. This is just some old SIM card here. But let's take it off of... Where's our airplane mode at? Take it off airplane. We should get a roaming connection here. I'm connected. Here's our incoming call. And there's our... Okay, that's enough of that. And you saw the, uh, the text message that, okay, that came in. There we go. So, the Libra SDR in this particular instance seems like it functions exactly like what I expected here I've got uh, really no issue with this older 
uh, phone that's capable of you know GSM actually I think I have it set to GSM uh, I may I probably previously connected uh, you know manually uh, told the phone to connect to the uh, the network that's coming off of there that's why it, it connected a lot of times it can automatically connect uh, I'm just trying to go from uh, memory it's been a while since I had this phone on all right so um, yeah well if you got any questions put it in there but I just wanted to show uh, and I'll, I'll probably continue on and test other things this was just kind of like to get things started and so far so good all right thanks